Okay, so here's part B. So we're going to open up a pack and um, pick out some Oreos. Here, these are the these are the single stuffed ones, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Okay. Oh, and then we'll bring our kitchen scale over. So let's see if that shows up. All right, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit, just down to the scale. All right, that's pretty good. Nice. All right, so now what, what's our first plan here? First so part of get our plan? the shell weight. All right. The, so get both of these shells combined. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how are we gonna do that? Well, well we can remove just, the filling. Yeah. All right, how are we gonna do that? By eating the filling. Mm -hmm. I don't think eating it is a good idea, but what can you do? Well, you can kind of twist it off. Hmm. Or you can just try to lightly lift it. Okay, awesome. Just one shell. And then I can twist this one. All right, so that one's, that, that says it weighs four grams, and right? Here's that one has a little filling on it. All right, so what do we learn from that now? Nine. Hmm. Eight. Eight. So, no, so shells with no filling weigh eight grams. Eight grams. Okay. How can we be? How can we become even more confident with that? Well, we could stack the shells on top of each other. Okay. Try that. What happens now? It weighs nine. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Why? Why do you think we're getting a little bit of a discrepancy? Well, well, I mean, because like the weight is here is spread out over a wider area, and, and then, maybe... then the weight's more concentrated. Okay. Hmm. So how can we get a better estimate of what the shells weigh? Well, but could you just weigh one shell and then multiply it by two? We could. What's another idea? Hmm. Here, you guys can put the empty ones that you're holding to that plate. This is a, a, a problem when you're doing experiments like this, is you get data that, that has just little errors in it. Or maybe measure sure. another two? Okay. Why don't we try that? Let's measure, let's measure some more. So, I'll remove these. They should weigh around the same. Okay. Can you help your brother take, a, take one apart? really exact. Okay. But we still got eight. We still got eight. Okay. Now, All right, let's, if we do this. Yeah, what happens when we stack them? Eight. Eight this time. Hmm. Okay. So, so we've got eight and eight. What do you want to do now? So well, now we could weigh... Just weigh a regular Oreo. Pl okay. Plus filling. You're comfortable with, with this? Yeah. All so right. yeah. Maybe we should write this down somewhere. Yeah, so far we think that two shells weigh eight. Two shells. So, no filling. I don't know if that's on camera because I'm zoomed in. Gross. One suggestion I'm going to make is we try to weigh a few more of these and maybe we'll weigh 10 shells total together on this. And that will help us get a really good estimate to just for wait. what one shell weighs. 10 shells. And then we can divide by ten, right? So we have to get, but we have to get two shells. So we can just maybe get one. Well, how many shells do we have on there? Can you count? Let's see, we have one, two, three, seven shells. Hmm. All right. So now we have eight. Eight. Shells. And there's 10. Okay. Let's see, we have 42, so they weigh around 4.2. Aha! And that's interesting because two of them together, if they both weigh 4.2, what eight, would two together weigh? 8.4. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we're getting 8, and sometimes we're getting 9. So that makes sense. Why does that make sense? Because 
the calculator, the thing might goof up because it doesn't have such precise measurements. Ah, so that's that's a helpful way to see. So we can even say a little bit better now. No filling is about eight point four. And now we can weigh a regular Oreo and subtract eight point four from its weight. Okay. All right. So why don't we do that? Why don't we take some regular Oreos and see what we get? Okay. okay.